Shrimp card is here. The shrimp card is all about growth, you know, being strong um, throughout a situation. So you could have been going through some, you know, a traumatic situation. And um, you were strong throughout this whole situation. This is overall Leo energy. And um, you had strength. Whatever was meant to t tear you down, it built you up and it gave you strength. Whatever didn't kill you, it made you stronger. And you came out, you know, on top. Taming whatever, you know, whatever was meant to kill you, you tamed that. And it has made you grow with this strength card. A lot of people cannot say that, you know, as everybody don't go through the same situation, same battles, but Everyone cannot stand up and say that they, you know, did this like you did it. Overcame stuff like you overcame things. And a lot of people that wanted you to go through whatever trauma or traumatic events that they, you know, wanted to send you through, they wouldn't have been able to come out, you know, gaining strength, having growth. So it's like the people that were trying to throw stuff at you, that were trying to tear you down, they could have never came out like you came out. They could have never built their self out and, you know, built their self up and have strength and grow. It would have tore them down. Yeah, the Empress is here. You're an Empress. A divine feminine energy, divine being. You can embody every queen in the deck you came out having control of your energy. People wanted to take you through a lot of traumatic events so they could try to play in your energy. But you're standing up in this Empress energy, having control of your own life, having control of your own energy, sitting back, being a boss, manifesting whatever it is you want out of life. Because you chose to have strength. You chose to build yourself up and grow instead of letting it tear you down. And you hadn't came out on top, one of the most powerful queens in the deck, embodying every queen in the deck in the upright position. You're someone that's sitting back, you know, manifesting whatever it is you want out of life. You're attracting whatever it is you want. Everything just, you know, whatever you want, you put your mind to, it comes to you. Because you've overcame different obstacles that were, you know, people wanted to throw at you and it was meant to tear you down. So all I keep hearing is it was meant to tear you down, but it only made you grow. Yeah, Eight of Wands is here. And then two of cups is here. So with this eight of wands and two of cups, someone could be coming towards you quick with this eight of wands. And it's, you know, someone wants to partner up with you and work with you. And um, this could be somebody, you know, at work or somebody that you want to work with or you're going to partner up with this person This as this person come towards you. Y'all are going to work on something together and y'all are also going to have love for each other. These are two people that can express their emotions properly. Two people that have showed love to their self and they know how to love with this two of cups and eight of wands is here. You could get a message or they could just come towards you out of nowhere. Yeah, the devil and then the hermit is here. This person has been in hermit mode from, you know, all toxicity. They had ghosted different people that were walking in this devil energy that were trying to keep them chained. Binding and blinded to a lot of bad karma and debt. They ghosted those people. This person could be somebody that ghosted you. And it was because they were binding and blinded to a lot of people that were toxic. This person could have been walking in devil energy. They could have had addictions and obsessions. But it's like now they're, um, they've ghosted that energy. And that's why they needed to ghost you. 
now this person has been loving their self, showing their self some love, and they're ready to come towards you. Two of Cups is here. Three of Pentacles is here. This person wants to build something with you. Work on something with you. They could just want to build on life with you. Yeah, Knight of Pentacles is here. <laughs> yeah. Knight of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles. It's like people got behind the scenes because they knew this person wanted to work with you or build with you or they knew that you guys were supposed to partner up and they were trying to slow this person down. Slow this person, you know, down from coming towards you. And these are people that they were around, people that they were attached to. This person could have, you know, and as they were attached to these people, they could have slowed down all movement in their life, like their finances, not being able to work. You know, things are being slowed down, whatever type of work they do. It's because of the people that they're attached to. Their finances is not coming in. Yeah, Eight of Swords is here. These people wanted them to be wanted this person to be stuck. At the Eight of Swords, bonded and blinded and tied up to this devil energy. These are people that are bound to the devil, just toxic. And they thought they were they got together at the Eight of Pentacles. Instead of working on themselves to get unbound from this devil energy, they got behind the scenes at the Three of Pentacles and tried to slow this person down. And they didn't do nothing but slow their self down from getting unchained. Keeping their self at this eight of swords, binding and blinded and stuck and tied up to this devil for debts that's old. Yeah, at the two of swords trying to blind people from the truth, try to blind this person from the truth. And they were sitting back blinded at the two of swords from the truth. Blinded playing with stuff they know nothing about. They could have sat back and did something to try to blind the justice system to have this person go to jail. And they didn't understand why they had them with the jail. As it's 8 plus 2 equals 10, that's the 10 of swords betrayal. This person could be sitting back facing some type of jail time or prison time because they stayed attached to these people that were sitting back at the Three of Pentacles trying to slow them down. Keeping them in their energy. And it didn't do nothing but keep them weighed down. Ten of Wands is here. A lot of stuff in their face that they could not see and a lot of stuff on their back that they could not weigh. Just running in circles throughout life, heavy burdens. Yeah, and feeling left out in the cold. Five of Pentacles is here. They could be, you know, could be experiencing financial lacks, or they were only experiencing financial lacks around these different people that were walking in devil energy, trying to keep them stuck to this devil energy. It was like they realized they needed to ghost these people, five of pentacles. Lay down whatever burdens that they had them picked up of these people being attached to them. So they can stand up in this emperor energy. Regain their own control, their own strength. Be the, you know, boss that they're supposed to be. This person realized they had the ghost. A lot of people leave them at the five of pentacles. They was only having them at the five of pentacles out in the cold. And they couldn't come and work with you. They couldn't come partner up with you to build this empire. Emperor and empress is here. Yeah, these are people that were jealous, envious. Under heavy mind control by this entity and demon that, that they worked for. They were determined to try to sabotage you and this person so y'all wouldn't come to union. Instead of being determined to try to get detached from this devil energy and being bind and chained to a lot of bad karmic debt, they got behind the scenes to try to sabotage you and this person. To try to have this person at the two of pentacles juggling between thoughts and finance trying to figure this out. Juggling between two places or two things or just juggling throughout life. Constantly going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Not knowing what they're going to do with their life. And it's like now this person's at the page of pinnacle. They had and took whatever lessons that they had done learned and they took that with them as a lesson. They realized these people were childish and they weren't going to get anything out of being attached to them. It's like this person is, you know, on a whole new path. They're looking at life on a whole nother level now. They look at everything differently. Page of Pentacles. Yeah, the lovers is here. 
this person is, uh, you know, in love with you. They realize whoever that they possibly were in a relationship with that were trying to, you know, keep them stuck. Eight of Swords is here. Or the people that were around them. This lover's card, you know. These are two people that share the same soul. And this person realized that whoever these people that were around them were trying to keep them away from you from partnering up with you and working with you because y'all have the same soul. Y'all were meant to partner up and build something. Emperor and Empress is here. Build an empire legacy. Yeah, and balance, you know, masculine and feminine energy out as y'all both share the same soul. Balance each other out with this temperance card. Yeah, this person look at you as someone that's very angelic, very positive, a leader. And um, you pour out love to people. And you poured out love to this person. Yeah, this person was this person is feeling stuck some type of way. They could be really facing some type of jail time or prison time, and they didn't know it was because of the energy that they needed to detach from. Yeah, they're in their head about this. Nine of Swords is here. It's like somebody lied on them with this nine of swords. They spread it lies, rumors, gossip, and slander. And whoever did it, they were angry at this person. And they just came in quick knight of swords. To have this person at the Nine of Swords, a mental prison in their head. Slander, gossip, sleepless nights, dark night of the soul. Getting exposed for stuff that they didn't even do. As lies were spread on them because somebody got mad. They could have got mad because this person left them out in the cold. Five of Pentacles is here. And they ghosted them. And they got behind the scenes and did something to try to have this person stuck. And they've tried to blind the justices and two of swords is here. And they betrayed this person. Ten of swords, this person. This person could be doing some type of jail time because, because they stayed attached to this person. And this person didn't realize that they didn't know. You know, it's like they've detached from one person. And then they're, they're thinking that, hey, I detached from this person. That's all I need to detach from. It's people that they're, they were still attached to. That was attached to that person. And they didn't know that's why they were constantly getting hit with the karma too. They need to detach from everybody because they can't trust nobody. The devil will use your mama and your daddy and not care. People that you would least expect and you keep trying to hold on to. As you get, you know, as you get older, you're on your own. You need to be more independent, self-sufficient. And this person possibly didn't know that and they had to learn the hard way. That different people that they were still attached to was attached to that person and that person's energy. And that was only keeping them stuck. Eight of Swords is here. As other people were sitting back stuck at the Eight of Swords and blinded from the truth. Blinded to the fact whoever this toxicity person that they left out in the cold was playing was spell work. Yeah, three of swords is here. They wanted this person to be heartbroken, stressed, depressed. Because whatever spell that they were trying to place on that person, it no longer worked. This person had a ghost all toxicity, all devil energy. And that's why they had to ghost you. And they were at the three of swords heartbroken, this devil energy, because it didn't work. And that made them angry. They riled up a bunch of people out of lies and jealousy targeted this person and they wanted to keep it hidden high priestess is here they could have sat back and riled up a bunch of people to do stuff to you and this person all because they knew that y'all shared a past life with each other six of cups is here y'all were supposed to partner up and meet you know meet up with each other and build a legacy an empire because y'all shared the same soul and this person felt left out in the cold because they're physically mentally and spiritually out in the cold with no soul Instead of trying to heal and get their self realigned with their soul and spirit, they chose to walk in this devil energy under heavy mind control. Walking in hatred, jealousy, envy. Trying to defeat you and this person. I'm bad to defeat it their self. It's like people don't think before they do stuff. And it was designed to happen that way because people need to, everybody's learning lessons. We were all sent here to learn lessons. We were all sent here for a reason. And some people have to learn harsh, painful lessons. Some people do harsh, painful things and don't think it's going to come back on them. 
This is someone that's like as quick as they did it, it came back on them and different people that they were attached to. As they sat back at this two of swords, blinded, playing with stuff they know nothing about and didn't know they were the one at the eight of swords, stuck, binded and blinded and tied up to the devil for a lot of bad karmic debt. Keeping their self blindfolded and chained. Yeah, four cups in the reverse. It's like this person did not want people to reject them. This person did not want people to know that they were insecure. They wanted this person to feel, you know, insecure and rejected. They thought they would project that energy off onto them. They didn't even want these people to know that. Um, it's like they, they weren't happy when this person rejected their cup. Yeah, they weren't happy. They didn't expect this person to reject their cup. So they could have been, you know, placing something in a cup. To try to keep this person stuck to them. Keep this person blindfolded where they wouldn't be able to see what was going on around them. And it didn't work. It made this person ghost them. Leave them out in the cold. Yeah, five of cups is here. It just made this person more and more in regret. Five of cups. Ashamed. Embarrassed. Not wanting to be around people. Not even wanting to face that person. Yeah. They were in regret. They were in more disbelief when they found out this person had done um, placed something in their cup. Yeah, it could have been more than one time with this five of cups being here and three cups are knocked over. You know, they were sitting back calculating how many times they had entrusted this person around their cup or different stuff like that. Yeah, with this five of cups being here. Three cups are knocked over. Two are behind this person. Left them in regret, ashamed, embarrassed. As they had not left this person alone, you know, probably in their home or, you know, trusting this person. And they were in regret for that. As everybody is learning lessons to move forward in life. Yeah, six of wands is here. This person holds you in high honor and they thought that they would have, you know, whoever put the place something in this person's cup, which is your divine counterpart cup. They thought this person was going to hold them in high honor. They were going to have some type of victory. They would be seen in certain lights that's not their own at the six of wands. Someone that's very narcissistic and it did not work. And that's why they're at this three of swords, depressed, stressed out and trying to project that energy off onto you and that person. Whatever they sun at you, it made you grow and it made you come out one of the most powerful queens in the deck. It made this person come out one of the most powerful kings in the deck. Emperor and Empress is here. The lovers is here. Two of cups is here. Like this person knew that you and this person shared the same soul. They knew y'all were supposed to come in union, meet up with each other, partner up with each other, build with each other. And they knew that y'all would grow. But this person wanted to try to have different people around them blinded from the truth and different people around your person blinded from the truth and just have them stuck, binded, blinded, and tied up. This person was here to rile up a bunch of people for the devil. Yeah, the moon card is here. A lot of people didn't know that. This person got a lot of secrets. They have been doing this for a long time. Whatever spell work they had been playing with, it was for a long time. Over not only this person, multiple people. And they didn't know it was a secret. Just to be held in high honor in different people's eyes. Yeah, Seven of Swords. See, this person thought they were smarter than everybody. Being sneaky and deceptive behind the scenes. Lying, sneaking, cheating, stealing, being dishonest. Just using people for whatever they can get out of them. And they would set people up and thought that the spell work that they had them placed over people would blind people from the truth. <laughs> yeah. That all came to an end. The world is here. It didn't do nothing but make this person complete a cycle with them. A rocky, toxic, karmic cycle that they didn't even know that they were in. They broke a generational curse up off of them. You know, this devil energy that they were walking in. 
detaching from th this person. Different people that were still attached to this person. They had to detach from everybody. They didn't know everybody was, you know, in this energy. And they were just sitting back at this eight of swords. And two of swords. Blinded from the truth. As I said, the eight plus two equals ten. That's a ten of swords cursing hex. People didn't even know that they were under a generational curse. Yeah, page of cups in the reverse. This is someone that did, you know, as they get caught doing stuff or they did something, this person is somebody that they don't care. They didn't even apologize to people and didn't plan on apologizing to people. They could have gotten people sick. And they didn't plan on, you know, they don't, they're not sorry for what they did. They don't care. They don't have no emotions. Page of Cups in the reverse. None whatsoever. Somebody could have lost a child because of this person. The magic that they were doing. Yeah, Tower is here. This person sent somebody through destruction, crisis, and Tower moments. Damaged people's lives. Playing with spell work. And as these people were attached to them and it was hidden with this moon card, they didn't know. And they plan with different type of stuff that they know nothing about. Placing stuff in people's cup. Playing with spell work over them to be held in high honor in their eyes. Wanting to have victory over all these people. All because they knew that people would be moving forward and moving on from them. They knew that this person would be moving forward. Getting on a chariot. They knew this, but they just wanted to keep this person stuck. They wanted to block this person off from completing a cycle. The world is here. They didn't want this person to end out a toxic cycle and walk into a whole new cycle. As a whole new person. Healed. Someone that's pure. Unchained. Unbound. They didn't even want to get unchained and unbound. They were too busy trying to stay bound. And didn't know as they were placing spell work over different people, they were only keeping their self chained. Other people that weren't woke and they were, you know, in that person's energy and was not listening to their intuition because they were out in the cold as well. These are people that could have been doing the same thing this person was doing. Different people that were innocent, that were, didn't know nothing about, you know, what this person was doing. They were going through towers. They were getting hit and they didn't understand why. And this person didn't care. Didn't have a care in the world. Yeah, Queen of Cups is here. This person look at you as someone that's very loving and caring. This person could have acted like they cared as well. Is what I, what I just heard. They act like they did. But um, they could have acted like they cared. They could have been a mother of that child. They could have lost a child. Queen of Cups is here. And they wanted people to have empathy for them, sympathy for them. And they didn't give a damn. This is somebody that's very cold. Yeah, nine of pentacles in the reverse. This is somebody that's, you know, codependent to the devil, addictions and worse. They don't care. This person is somebody that sells their self for whatever they can get. Money, drugs, they do not care. This is someone that's very codependent and they don't want to work. They cannot stand up and be independent, self-sufficient. They cannot run their own household, let alone their own business. This person walks around in different people energy. Shape-shifting in different people energy that's attached to them. Harvesting, feasting on their energy, and they don't even know this. Yeah. King of Wands is here. They knew this person had a, you know was looking towards a whole nother direction. They knew this person would, um, wanted to take action for towards you because they had a lot of passion for you. They knew this, whoever this person is. They could have knew, you know, they knew that you were in this Queen of Cups energy and they were trying to portray, yeah, Ace of Wands on the bottom of the deck. They knew this person wanted to take action towards you. They knew this person was in love with you and look at you as somebody that's, you know, love and caring. You take care of your kids. You love your kids. Queen of Cups is here. You can embody every queen in the deck in an upright position. This person can embody every king in the deck in an upright position. This person cannot embody no, you know, energy. But the devil energy and that's it. 
Any other energy has been, you know, flipped in a reverse karmic energy. Eight of Swords being binded, blinded, and stuck. Yeah, Eight of Cups is here and then Nine of Wands is here. This person had them walked away at the Eight of Cups from all toxicity to fulfill their destiny and their purpose on Earth. And they wanted this person to be at, you know, the Nine of Wands. As soon as this person walked away from them, they were at this Nine of Wands nervous. Stuck having to deal with whatever abandonment issues that they needed to fix and heal. Stuck having, having to deal with whatever they needed to heal. This person could not heal them. They could only heal their self. No one can heal no one. You can only heal yourself. You can be inspired and motivated by somebody else, you know, healing. Somebody else doing the work. But a lot of people don't be inspired. So, you know, a lot of people respect you, as I was saying, and a lot of people will hate on you. And that's the type of energy that this person was in. They're a hater. Yeah, Ten of Swords is here and then the Hangman is here. They did something to try to betray you and this person. If you got wrapped up and was stuck in the hangman position, or this person ended up getting stuck, it was out of betrayal. They, they ganged up multiple people to backstab you and this person. Had this person possibly, you know, stuck some type of way about somebody else, you know, death or demise. And this person didn't understand how they got caught up. They could have knew different people in the justice system. Yeah, King of Swords is here. This could be somebody that worked in the justice system. And it's like, if they knew different people in the justice system and they, you know, lied or they did different stuff that was ingested, judgment is here. It was designed to happen that way. So different people that were in the justice system that had used their power to do wrongdoings, they're under judgment. They're receiving karma for whatever they had done set back and did. To betray this person and to betray you. Ten of Swords is here. They had them placed their self under a curse and a hex. Doing whatever they did with that person. This person could have placed spell work over them and they didn't know. Yeah, and this was destined to happen. The Wheel of Fortune is here. Because you and this person have a purpose and a destiny. It's like this is the karmic wheel. If they came in y'all energy... And y'all are divine beings and y'all, you know, walking in y'all purpose and in y'all destiny and attached from these devils. They got hit with karma. Bad karma. Judgment is here. Yeah. No matter what position you in. You know, just because you're in a higher position and somebody don't mean that you can just do anything to them. And they possibly thought that. They thought they would rile up different people that were in the justice system or they knew people that can get to different people in the justice system to try to have you and this person stuck or wrapped up some type of way. Those people are receiving karma with that person and they possibly don't know what's going on or why they're getting hit. Yeah, seven of cups, they're confused. They didn't know this person had to create illusions and confusions around them to keep them at this devil energy. Chained, binding and blinding to the devil for death that's old. For their wrongdoings.